top six that got down me uh, rapping. It's, it's quite a few. No, no, all of them. Go ahead. Go ahead, though. Mm -hmm, all right, blood. Yeah, and, and, and another thing I had wanted to say, to, to me, this is my opinion. Most of the things I say are basically facts right. because I live on the block. I know everything about the block. But it's to me like uh, people that rap, you know what I'm saying? It's like you use, you, you use gangs and shit to get into the rap game, you know what I'm saying? As soon as you a rapper and shit, you don't come back to the hood and try to put put nothing with the homies that still are, you know what I'm saying, and uh, feed the community or nothing like that. Try to buy the little kids some bikes, but but you like this, big racks up to your ear, all the way up here, you know what I'm saying, on the hood day and all that. You ain't came gay nothing. You ain't came gay to say you gonna give a show in the hood, you know what I'm saying, but as soon as a nigga get into it, some of that old gunplay shit, it's you wanna run right back to the hood, you know what I'm saying? Right. About the hood. Fuck that shit. That shit over, you know what I'm saying? If none of you niggas can't give back just like, I ain't no rapper, man. I ain't no rich nigga. I don't profess to be, you know what I'm saying? Because I ain't got to do none of that shit to walk around stop six, you know what I'm saying? But I am a real nigga, and I care about my hood. Right. Most of you, and actually, all you dumbass niggas should be worrying about gentrification instead of worrying about any nigga. Cause it ain't gonna be no hood, cause the white folks buying it all up. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. But back to what I was saying, motherfuckers use streets and sets and shit to get into the rap game. Then all of a sudden, they forgot about where they came from. But to me, I look at this shit like this. When a nigga get rich, he a big rapper and all that, but that nigga can't go home to his hood, <laughs> like they say, can't go home, can't go nowhere. That means that your hood doesn't accept you no motherfucking mother. Right. That's what it is, blood, for real. You know what I'm saying? But people, you know, people got their images and people got their personas and people's even got their perception of what they think IG and Facebook, all that shit means something to you because you got a thousand people saying they're like, you know, them motherfuckers just being nosy, man. That's not reality. Right. Reality is if you can go do a show in your city. Reality is if you can come to your hood and holler at the big homie. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because just like I said, you got to have a big homie. You know what I'm saying? Even if you're a street nigga. Right. Yeah. So some old niggas taught you the game. I ain't, even count, I ain't counting the protocol of a game. You go from a BG to a YG to a guy. You know how I go. A BG, YG, you know what I'm saying? Old YG, Jesus, a bunch of shit. But it's a protocol. You go from the bottom to the top. You can't skip and jump right to a OG. How the fuck you did that when there's niggas that came before you? That's, right. that's what I'm saying, man. Everybody ain't no OG, man. Everybody need to basically play their position, man. It's it's chief Indians. It's all type of shit, you know what I'm saying? Because most of these niggas I look at these days, they should have been drag queen, nurses aides, you know what I'm saying? Some <laughs> shit like that. Maids, you know what I'm saying? Because they ain't no motherfucking gangsters. But back then, them niggas was gangsters because they was with us. You had to shoot. You had to do what you had to do. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Or a nigga peep that game. It was correction when I was young. It ain't no correction these days. Niggas out here just wildin' doing what the fuck they want to do. Nigga beat your motherfucking ass for putting it on blood, nigga. And don't do what you said when I was young. You know what I'm saying? So all this shit just fucked up, but it's backward. But this what I can say. For all you bitch ass niggas or whoever fuck niggas or whatever, you know what I'm saying? You wanna claim a nigga set and all that, you don't wanna stick to the protocol of the gang, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, you gonna get the fuck out the way, you know what I'm saying? Because this shit is real, man. And this real life, you know what I'm saying? And, and a nigga trying to look out for you, homie. You know what I'm saying? I got love for a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? And as long as you can listen and embrace knowledge, you will grow. Other than that, all you doing is going on the internet dissing everybody anyway. And the motherfucker these days love mess over a message. Right. You don't run that back. Motherfuckers love mess over a message. If you're giving a message, you might get a thousand people to like it. you giving some mess, you're gonna get a hundred thousand people to like it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you know how you rocking in the streets or rapping or whatever by the views. You know what I'm saying? Right. But if you live your life off views, you an internet nigga to me now. You ain't no street nigga no more. Right. Actually, none of that shit don't matter. It's just like trying to be um, with God and you with the devil. It don't, it don't mix. Even that nigga Boosie told him, man, you're going you're gonna to either be a rapper or you're going to be a street, street nigga. nigga. Right. But I understand rapping about what you've been through. 
know what I'm saying? But don't, you know what I'm saying? All that shit fake, homie. You know what I'm saying? If I got a million dollars, nigga, I ain't out here gang banging it. Like, like Lil Wayne. If at 12 or 13 years old, he had a million dollars, you think he was sitting out here on the street corner with them niggas in Louisiana? Hell nah, he was on tour doing all this and that. Blood gang is a fad to him, too. It's, it's more of a fad. I don't believe he had a million dollars at this age and you was hanging on street corners gang banging with the niggas that was out there broke. No, Cause we gang bang for free. You know, we, ain't, we ain't got paid for nothing we did, you know what I'm saying? Right. There wasn't no 401k plan, wasn't no retirement, wasn't no unemployment for what we did. And later on I learned that. And another thing I can tell you about a gang, and that street shit, it'll get you stuck. It'll take you, you'll be like me. Took you uh, 30, 40 years to ever get a job or right. Uh, get your own business because in the streets that was your business. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. right. And I'm, 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 I'm on a, I'm on, I'm on a, for the for the youth. Yeah. They feel like they want a gang bang. Right. Ain't number three things promised to you: the penitentiary, death, or getting hurt real bad to where you thought you was dead. Yeah. Pretty much. You know. Uh, and, 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 third, when you got me out, with the third part. And, and missing <laughs> out on become and, and one more thing. And missing out on becoming the man that you really need to be in well, life. God made you. You know what I'm be, saying? Yeah. You will miss out on how to become a man, to pro, to provide for your family, to, to be a man in the household and lead. You, you cause you're in the penitentiary and you stagnant and you stuck. Yep. And, and, and everything about the penitentiary when you're doing time, a nigga talk about the same story. A, a nigga be locked he's up in. Still, like, if he got locked up in 1990. He'll be he's talking about the talking same about shit, shit in 2000. He ain't been out here. That he done in 1990. He ain't been nigga, out here. So, so you get stagnated and stuck, and, and you'll miss on your blessing, you'll, you, and you'll come back and, and you'll regret a lot of things that you did. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and rewind back to the beginning of what I said. And, and, and for a lot of you youngsters that really think you want to gang bang, oh yeah, it's fun when you get it in. It's fun when ain't you no on fun top. When the rabbit got the ain't gun. no fun when the rabbit got the gun. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. that's all this promise tells you. But if that's what you want to do, you're a grown man and you make your own choices. You got to learn from your mistakes. Right. But then me, as a G, and a person that grew, oh, I would ask you to learn said, from the mistakes up, of others, which is my mistakes and, 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 and the big homies that came before you. Tell him I said, pull look up, at what I went through. Look at and look at where I'm at now and right. what I became now. I'm a, I'm a working man now. I'm a family man. Yeah, I touched the hood because I ain't forgot where I came from. Yeah, right. I come in the hood, but I don't come in the hood for no bullshitting. I don't come in the hood to gang bang, but I come I come in the hood to to kick with my homies because I, I don't feel like I'm too good. I come in the hood to give a good word of advice to the youngsters that's around me. Right. But you youngsters, if this is not what y'all really want to do, like I'm saying, you only got three three. Three to four things promised to you. Right. You gonna you, death, the penitentiary, or getting hurt real bad to where you think you dead, or, 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 or losing your purpose of who you need to be in life. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> and I, I, I mean, I didn't come here to glorify gang banging, right. but I'm a real gang member. So to me, it was it was a different thing. Plus, we did some basic. We had to do. You know what I'm saying? If we didn't do that, you know what I'm saying, basically, uh, the Crips would have dominated everything and took over our neighborhoods and did what they wanted to do with us. So we had to be notorious. Yeah, we, 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 ha we had to do what we did. Y'all don't. And, Plus, and the block is the notorious Shore Street Paru Blood Gang. Yeah. And, and for most of you niggas be talking about blood and that blood and Paru shit in the beginning, we didn't give a damn about that. You know what I'm saying? It's all one love. It, it's still, it's, it's all, it's all, all the same to me, you know what I'm saying? All but the same, down for the I same am, I am a pop rule, and I had some older, 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 my relative them, they rules, so they had gave me that game. But I still got love for Bloods and shit, and the niggas from my set, the same way. So I never, I never, uh, you know, try to push that line like that, you know what I'm saying? Right. Everything cope aesthetic, you know what I'm saying? Right. But for you niggas that come into the knowledge of it and try to use and abuse it, that's why blood is blood on blood these days, or blood on root. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's the fuck nigga. Remember the difference between a fuck nigga and a real nigga is just like um, a, a real nigga go out and hustle, work, provide for his family, get a business and come up, you know what I'm saying? And a fuck nigga's a nigga that comes to rob that real nigga, you know what I'm saying? Because he don't want to go through no struggle or nothing to get somewhere. He just want everything easy. And life is not easy, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. But back to the gang shit, man. To me, gang banging only lead 
to death or jail. He added in some good little factors on the side, but predominantly, gangbanging leads to death in jail. And we chose that. Like I said, God just blessed us to to make it through that, I believe, to be here to tell y'all. Right, so it really even, ain't looking, look, even looking back at it, you have no regrets because now you can, you have Hell a story no. to tell. Uh, only, only through those things that I've been through right, made yeah. me into the man I am right, today. And I can say, I don't knock, I don't knock a gangster for going out to get it, however he get it, with his robbery or however, because I was one of them same type of dudes. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta know what it is that you want out of life. You youngsters, if you're proclaiming to be a gangster and you really not a gangster and you don't want to die, or you don't want to go to the penitentiary, or you don't want to get hurt real bad, sit down to yourself, love yourself and figure out what it is you really want to do in life because this is not for you. Mm -hmm. It's not for you. You know what I'm saying? Learn from the mistakes of others. Don't have to take yourself through that same struggle when a nigga giving you the real. And now, nah, now, nah, for the little homies that's in the hood and all that, they seen this shit. They done seen a nigga go through it all. The ups, the down, the good, the bad, the ugly, you know what I'm saying? They seen all that shit, you know? It's just, like I say, some people embrace that lifestyle because it's like a generational curse. Right. It's like the project. They mama lived there, and they learned that. Now her little girl lived there, and she learned that. They never learned nothing else because this is all that we know, or all we knew before. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like I say, God just blessed us to live long enough to understand this shit. Because I know for sure, from the age of 14 to damn near 36, I was only living for the day. I wasn't living for tomorrow because I didn't believe I would keep living. So imagine how how can how can we have a five year plan when we was young when we don't even think we're gonna live tomorrow. I never thought I would be here. Right. I never thought I'd be giving this interview. This shit is amazing to me. Actually, we just start living our life. It's, it's, right. it's nothing but a blessing for no, That's why you give back. back and that's why I give back to the hood. Yeah. That's why I'm right here saying what I'm saying. Because no matter if it's my word by word or deed, I'm still giving back to the hood. Because I'm telling the homies, man, don't do what I did. And you know what I did. Well, and, uh, right here, you know what I'm saying, in, in yeah. four word text, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we done had rum, red rum down here from Cali on stop six days. You know what I'm saying? We give it up to the motherland, you know what I'm saying? Because them the one, my relative and them, he from Santa Ana, you know what I'm saying? A Shelly Street Pablo, them niggas the one that gave us the game. You know what I'm saying? The California niggas gave us the game, bro. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say it was just all that great for what they gave us. They did give us something. At the you know time it was but, great. And at the time it was, no, it was beautiful. You know what I'm saying? That at shit the time. was beautiful. Cause we, we love that shit, you know what I'm saying? I still don't be wearing blue to this day. Still, you know, still do. I, mean, I ain't just going Still to, do uh, love it. We just out the way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I'm just, we grown men. We, we, we just, just out the way. man. You know like I say, we, we just gonna tell the youth, is this what you think you really want? And y'all fuck with me on this ride to provide the shit, you know what I'm saying? And you can reach me at uh, Eric Davis on Facebook. Right. Or, 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 uh. Instagram? Eric Davis 79 on Instagram, you know what I'm saying? If y'all wanna do something, cause we need to make a movie about this shit, really. Cause this shit out here, it really and, deep. And, and, you be peeping this shit that a nigga and, and, got, and, 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 all this goddamn information. You can really stumble up on the block and reach a nigga ass, cause nigga still <laughs> step in the hood, you know yeah. what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can slide through her, you know what I'm saying? There, Truman Street there. Instagram. You can you can really just pop up in Stop Six Texas. Yeah. And, and, and we'll be there. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? They like don't I come say, over on that bullshit, like, thinking like, we like, country like, and shit. Like, like, like I say, ain't nothing country. Like I, I say, though. <laughs> <laughs> we inactive, working men. Nigga murder you know what I'm talking about? Nigga ain't getting named murder we're still for nothing, not too you know good to come back and fuck with our little homies. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to keep on doing it. That, that, and, and, and y'all know, riders to providers, man. It's coming, man. It's coming, man. Man, shouts out to Lil' Devin, my nigga. AKA Lil' Draco, you know what I'm the saying? Demon, AKA, you know what I'm AKA Lil' Demon, you know what I'm saying? Rest in paradise, Lil' Homie. Rest in paradise, Lil' Homie, man. He was a real one. That nigga, was, was, out, that nigga was out the boot. And a nigga got down me stands. Gone too soon, and a nigga stand up for that little nigga. Cause that nigga was better than half of these niggas from Stop Six. 
that real talk. That's for me, the I I ain't gonna take that back. You know what I'm saying? The young nigga, he was ready. You know what I'm saying? He, he was ready, man. He just needed. It's the choices you make well, in well, life, you know, man. It's the choices like, like that I, you make in that life. That come back you know to what I said. Live by the gun, you die by the gun, man. Saying, uh, uh, and if you don't, you blessed, is, man. If you don't, it's just a blessing from the man, the, the Most High. Yeah. It, it, and it's called grace. He just gave you grace and had mercy. Yeah. Simple as that. It wasn't you. Don't think you the one that kept yourself living. It right. wasn't you. you. Be a, a, any one it was of that us, man, man upstairs. Anyone, everybody know their birthday, but you know one of them 365 days is your death day too. You just don't know when it is. And like I like I made a post. It's we was born to die, but it's a matter of when, and it's about your choices that you make in life. Cause you can die quicker than you're supposed to by gang banging, by robbing people, by fucking over people. It's a lot of ways you can die quicker than I believe you are supposed to. Right. So, that's it, man. But one little little deal, man. From me we're to gonna, you, man. We're gonna, we're gonna let the little man. And from, from the 9 0 gang, Tumor Street, Power Root. Woo. Hit that. One.